All right, so let's get to the fun part. Uh, we're going to take it apart now. We'll remove the uh, screen from the laptop. And the uh, first thing you want to do, I already took the couple of screws out, but I'm going to show it for demonstration purposes. You have to remove this one deep screw. Uh, it's just a small Phillips, and it will come right out. And that's basically what's holding the uh, little basil and the top that, uh, before you can take that off. And then these two little things, you can see one of them is actually already broken. Uh, you do want to loosen these up here, these little ears. Again, these are plastic and easy to break. I've had once done some work on this laptop where I had to replace the, uh, the jack, the charger uh, jack. And those little plastic trims broke off. But basically after that, this is where you're going to use your finger skills to kind of loosen up this trim. So this whole piece, this one piece will come off, but again, the little ears are connected to it, so you want to be careful as you loosen it up. The speaker covers, it's all one piece. So If you do get one side loose, you can kind of work your way through, and the whole thing will come off. And if one side is stuck, just use a little flathead, small flathead screwdriver to loosen it up. And don't yank on it too hard because it is connected. And this will be hard to show. I'm going to try to show it to you. Uh, I'm going to try to do it with one hand. But basically, let's do that. Not sure how well we this. It and it will come out so then this piece comes off I'm going to set this aside next you can basically remove because you are going to have to remove the keyboard as well it comes up and then just pull on a little bit and again the keyboard has the same thing uh, locking mechanism so I'll just pull up on one side and pull up on the other side on the plastic trim and then it will slide right out there's your keyboard. Sorry about the focus, not very good on this camera, but that's what I'm going to work with. And now, hopefully, you can see this. There's uh, these two cables, and these will come off real easy. They just kind of snap off. These are the uh, two main, uh, I think these are the two power supply cables wires I should say for the screen and then of course uh, the tape covering this we still have the tape on here side and I'm going to use my right hand. Sorry about that, it's kind of tricky doing this while I'm holding the camera. And once, so now the screen is all disconnected and there's two screws holding the screen, actually the hardware to the main laptop and then your screen's off. So we're going to this off and one is here and then of course one will be on the other side. And what I'm going to do here is put the camera down again because you do want to kind of hold it while you're taking off the other screw because it's going to just fall down. It doesn't have too far to fall, but 
I just like to support it with one arm as I'm taking off the other screw and the whole assembly is coming loose now make sure you save those screws somewhere safe there are different types of screws than the ones in the back alright guys so welcome back um, we've got uh, basically the old screen off and this is uh, my laptop so this is the one we're going to be installing it on and uh, I'm hoping I didn't mix them up so hopefully I got the right screen here because uh, they both look good on the outside but uh, yeah I can tell it's got a little mark here the one I bought so uh, we'll fix that so basically uh, you do want to put the screen on first and then put the keyboard on um, as because basically the wires go underneath the keyboard so that has to be the last piece you install before you put your screws back on now before I install the screen uh, I did want to point out that this is a piece that's very common on these uh, lifebook laptops that go out and this is uh, again I have replaced this before so I'm just going to show it to you uh, if you do want to replace this you don't have to again take everything apart you just loosen up the screws around the edges of the bezel and then basically there's two screws right here I'm going to show them to you uh, let's see so yeah you're just going to loosen up this one here and that one and of course all the ones around the uh, the edges and then you lift it up and then basically you just uh, slide this one in on the side now don't forget before you do that you are gonna have to take sorry it's just kind of hard to do with one hand but you see those two have to come off right there that guy and that guy those two nuts that's your uh, connection for it's like an external port I think for like an extra um, printer so that has to come off and then after that this piece very common on these they break that's the uh, jack for the charger and actually I did take a look at the one that just came in this uh, laptop I just bought and I swapped it out because it was in better condition the one I had uh, I had already previously purchased a jack and I had to solder it on there and my soldering screws are, skills are not the best so I just decided to swap it out it was just an extra five minutes of work and I already got the screws back on so now let's get to the business here and uh, let's install the screen so once again I Slide it in. Screws in there. I'm going to try to do this uh, so I don't take up a whole lot of your time here. And hopefully if everything goes well, we'll fire it right up. I'll just pop in the new battery I got because that one is uh, about a third, still got about a third of a charge. And so you're going to put these two wires in underneath and lead them into the space there. In fact, let's take a look at the, what space we have to work with there. Okay, the guys are screwed. time here I'm gonna connect these and I'm gonna fire it up okay guys so uh, here we are I got the uh, the basil back in fact uh, I just switched that out as well the one that came with the uh, laptop that I just bought uh, basically had one in better condition the uh, little clips in the back little ears were still intact so I just figured I might as well use that got that in place I haven't put any of the uh, screws back in on the back yet but I 
did pop the battery back in and the uh, DVD drive and so it should fire up so let's take a look see how it works I'm going to try to turn it so that you can see the new screen and this is again this is my laptop and with the new screen it's got the new jack for the charger and the new bezel here in the front with the power switch and a couple of other switches that are on here honestly I've never used them so I'm not even sure what they're for <laughs> but uh, let's take a look so so far so good everything seems to be working fine pretty excited about the new battery too it is very difficult to find uh, you know, it says to charge the battery so that's not going to be a big issue let's take a look so we can actually test the uh, new charger port as well I don't know if I'm going to be quick enough but uh, probably not It should turn right back on. So we plugged it in. We'll take a look, make sure it's charging. I can already tell it is. It's got a little display screen here, so all of that is working fine. I'm going to click that message off, and it should be charging. And it's already connected to the internet as well. But, uh, let's just put it to the test. Yeah, so we're good to go. It's all done. Screen replaced. The charger port jack replaced as well as the uh, front switch bezel with all the uh, switches and speakers. In it. And again, it's not too bad. It, you can do it in less than an hour. Depends. I mean, I took a break. I also had my pizza and stuff, but. Uh, yeah, it's not, not too bad and doable, and I'll still have the other laptop for uh, some spare parts if I ever need them. Um, could have a couple of things in there that could be used, but uh, for the most part, we got what we came for. An extra DVD drive, and some covers, some pieces. So thanks for watching. Again, this is how to replace the screen and some additional parts on a Fujitsu Lifebook S6231 laptop.